Hello. Hi, friends. Welcome to our home. It's dinner time on Sunday. What are we having for dinner tonight? Well, we're gonna do some steak, some salad, some steak. Adam's that hand. My <laughs> hand, you know. You got, Ashley has a beverage. Yes. I got my beverage. Yes. So guys, welcome. I yeah. probably, you're gonna have to reposition that. I didn't do it right, clearly. You know you didn't do too bad. We just decided we're gonna eat while we're doing this. <laughs> it's because true. that's what we do. Um, and I so eat with my hands sometimes. We're gonna ask, for, t for this week's vlog, we found some questions. It's just gonna be eating with your mouth open the entire vlog. Some people call these a mukbang. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully it totally offends somebody. Hopefully somebody just, they just can't handle it because we're talking with our mouth full. Deal with it. We're gonna start off with some questions here. Yeah, well this is a question and answer vlog. This is get to know us for real. In some very odd ways. I actually really like the questions that we found. Best way on. to get to know somebody is when you break bread with them. All right. Mm. Oh, I bet I just threw a mushroom on my stuff. I did. Okay. Do you got it together? Can I yep. ask you a question? Yep. I'm not gonna get to eat. And we're gonna be honest too. No, no, no. You, you, you got to answer the question too. Okay. Oh, this is good. Can I just come out swinging on this one? I like these questions better than the first ones we found. Um, who would I hate to see naked? Who would I hate to see naked? Who would I hate to see naked? Oh, I have to answer this for you. Sure, can I? Either one, or or you can answer. Who? So who would you hate to see naked? How would you naked? like to play this? Who would you hate to see naked? Mike Riley. Why? He just looks droopy. The Nebraska head coach. Yeah, he looks like Ewer anymore because he's not doing very good. Man, this steak is killer. Can I tell you who mine might be? Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton. Oh, that's such a good answer. You probably just die right there. You might. Naked Hillary, boom, heart attack. I just don't care to see what's under the pantsuit, so. Hmm, okay. All right, next question before you say something else. Whatever it is, it's huge. If you could travel back in time. <laughs> that was funny, come on. If you could travel back in time, where would you go? Like what time period? Hmm. You know what it would be? And it's kind of crazy. 1940s, America. Why? It's hard times, but it's hard times now. I just love black and white films, and I loved that uh, people were super genuine and real, and everything was just simple. It was simple. I, I, I would love to go back to the 1940s and just live in the 1940s. Okay. I like that answer. Um, Gosh, this might have to awesome. be realistic, because I would no, say can, is, I would travel is... back in time with Marty McFly. <laughs> So when does he go back? 19, he goes back to the 60s. 50s. The 50s. That's probably what I would do. I'd probably do the 50s. Because you're out of the Great Depression. You know. Whatever. Okay. okay. If, um, okay, so when, this is a question for both of us, I guess. Where did you get, I want some of the cheese the on The horse and cheese. There you go. If we're home on a rainy Sunday afternoon, what movie do we usually watch? Um... Paul Rudd, well, there's like three or four. Paul Rudd, Jennifer Aniston, Wanderlust. Mm, we great. love the movie Inglorious Bastards. Actually, we like all Tarantino stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we really like Hot Tub Time Machine. We like stupid comedies, yeah. essentially. Hot Tub Time Machine. Horrible Bosses. Horrible Bosses. The Internship. Mm -hmm. um, and now there's, like that we new, sorry, to. there's a new one with Robert De Niro. The Intern. The intern, That's and not the, a new the one, intern, right? the internship. That's yeah, but it's cute. a new one. Like we watch all the whole time. Mm -hmm. As long as there's a couch bed involved, we're usually good. What's a couch bed? A couch bed is when you literally make. Well, we haven't made a couch bed on this new couch. Mm -mm. We have we things could. to do. We have things to do. It's when you make a bed on your couch and you just chill. <laughs> Well, this is a we used to do couch. that in our, I know, we used to do it in our apartment though, and it was like, we just looked forward to couch beds. It was great. Adam's like, I'm gonna go get snack foods at Walgreens and you make a couch bed. Oh. And he'd come home. No. Oh, it'd be so nice. All right. This couch wasn't covered in cats and cat hair, and I did not buy it from a method. We didn't. This is the real deal it over is. here. All right. You ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. This is a question for you to answer about me. Mm. And then I'll answer about you. Which is the household chore I dislike the most or I, I never do? Here's the cool thing about Ashley. She pretty much 
doesn't complain about anything she has to do around the house. Granted, we both actually we're a pretty good team here. There's not I don't know if there's one thing that one person only does. Mm -hmm. Like I only mow the yard, like mm -hmm. but other than mm -hmm. that we pretty much do everything. I've mm -hmm. even cleaned toilets a couple times. You take out the garbage. Like oh, yeah. Adam will take the garbage out to the curb. That's every I would do it. You just do it though. Yeah. Um, but things I feel like that I do. I'm literally eating with two forks right now and I love Here. it. We're sharing a knife. We need a new knife set for Christmas. Um we do. I do feel like though around the house, not that you don't, you wouldn't do it, but I deep clean. Adam is a really good <laughs> cleaner. Like you seriously are. You're great at cleaning. Oh, I know. But I like Adam will tidy up. I like will go through and dust and like vacuum and that stuff. I just did it the other day. I clean this thing top to bottom. Well, it's not like I don't just next, throw it under the couch. Next question. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're gonna have a disagreement. All right, what um, what place would you no longer? What place if you went on vacation would you not come back from? Mm, Bora Bora. Because I think I could spearfish pretty good over time. Like I said earlier, though, you've never been to Bora Bora, so I, I mean I you don't said, doubt if you. If I went on a vacation, then I would never come back. No, I didn't have to go there. I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand the question though. So if you went to Bora Bora, you would never come back? Correct. Okay. Okay. And where would you go? Where was your guess for mine? Colorado. Yeah. Or the mountains? Yeah. I'd like go live in the mountains. I bet you I would survive longer than me. I don't, I doubt that. I'm a witty gal. <clears throat> I could figure it out. Until like, you got hungry. I'm like Katniss Everdeen. Are you talking about like deep in the mountains or just like a mountain place? Like there's restaurants and oh, civilization. Either one. I honestly could do either one. Or Bora no, you Bora couldn't. You. I'd hang out in Bora Bora with you. You couldn't survive on the this land. This says nothing the about. This says nothing about not having access to. You know. Okay then. All right. So you could be on a resort in Bora Bora. Never. Come I wouldn't want to be on a resort. All right. I'd start my own resort. What's it called? Um, what's that couple's retreat? I don't know. I haven't seen that movie. Welcome in a while. to Eden. All right. What? They're knocking my socks off. <laughs> this is really good. What do I like to drink when we go out or stay in? Whatever you can get your hands on. But what is it typically? Double fist and bottles of vodka. This lady be popping bottles. What do I drink? This. Every time. Johnny Walker Red on the rocks. He doesn't like black. I keep it simple. People usually judge him. But if it's really good, if it's like... Can I walk up black's okay? It's some, I don't know. If it's really good, it's Lagavulin, which yeah. is way better. Mine is usually a vodka press or vodka soda with a lime. Tonight I'm drinking vodka and ginger ale. So, there it is. Or wine, red wine. Okay. <laughs> What's the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up? Not open my eyes. <laughs> Instead of opening my eyes. Just be honest. <laughs> Cause yours is probably the same. <clears throat> Drop a deuce. I don't. I don't poop every morning well, when I wake girls up. Girls don't poop. Period. Okay, but what do I usually do? Um, roll over and give me kisses and confess your undying love for me every morning at six a.m. I was getting better about tickling your back or like rubbing tickling your, my rubbing back. your back. In the I love my back scratch in the morning. I like an itchy back, and I, I and she just like, oh, I did that's how you this get morning. your day off mm -hmm. on the right foot. No, what do you normally make coffee? Mm -hmm. And then she'll be in the bathroom and listen to some um, uplifting, motivational, or thought process thing while she's getting ready. It's funny because it takes her an hour and a half to get ready. And I'm, the time I get awake, put my clothes on, and start driving out of the driveway. It's he literally leaves before I Like do 17 days. and a half minutes? Yeah, it's crazy. You in the morning, yeah, you're pretty standard. Adam will get up. And go into our master, into our guest bathroom. Yeah, she's in the master. I don't want to be rude. And turn on the fan, and I just <laughs> let him do his thing. So I appreciate it. All getting right, it, getting right for the day. Do I do I normally finish things as soon as possible, or do I leave them for the last minute? You leave everything for the last minute. I'm a total procrastinator. You do everything right away. Always right away. I don't. I, I'm learning. I don't. I can't go to bed at night. Stuff not done. That's true. All right. Last questions or couple. Um, what is my sleeping position? It's called starfish. Mine? Yeah, it's your sleeping position. 
I don't starfish. Yes, she does. I see very much in one yes, area she... of the bed. How would you know you're sleeping? Rude. Well, yours is... Hmm. You know what happens at night when Adam gets tired? This isn't really his sleeping position, but this is what he does. I got some sun today. I know when he's tired because he like, sh like usually you're really, he's really cuddly and he like, mm -hmm. you know, wants to like, like touch and like, you know, cuddle or whatever. When he's tired or ready for bed, leave it's done. Like leave him alone. It's like, it, he literally I don't like stands, to be touched. Oh, he just turns into the biggest diva. So I just <laughs> have to leave him alone. It's the worst. I right. get mad too. She'll try to cuddle and stuff. It just He's pisses coming. me off. I'm like, don't touch me. Leave me alone. I'm Sometimes I egg him on. Sleep is sacred to me. Like, I don't sleep. I sleep with one eye open, anyways. I just do. <laughs> sleep with one eye open. I do. Back. It's or... so, I picked it up in Korea. Um, <laughs> you don't know about Korea. You're sweating. Oh, oh, oh. Are you nervous? It got hot Are you nervous for the last questions? It okay, got hot we'll finish up. All right. Um, what are three, okay, so name three things you like about me. Well, you didn't say this was one of the questions. I really love your ability to, um, when I'm like just fired up about something, mm -hmm. like type A intense, you just call me right now. That's nice and I appreciate one. that. I love, well, can we go back and forth on this? Okay. I love how patient you are. Hmm. Adam is so patient, which makes me not only does it give me a lot of grace, but I know like when we have kids, he's gonna be an amazing father because he's very patient. I really like Ashley. She loves giving gifts, and she's a great and she's a very thoughtful gift giver. Oh, that's very sweet. And I love that about you. I love, you know, I feel like we should be doing that thing in the movie when he's like five <laughs> minutes of uninterrupted eye contact. He's like, Go. I love your skill, your wit, <laughs> and your dazzling good looks. That's what we should just do words of affirmation in the morning that way. Hey, come here. <laughs> We're gonna kick this day's ass. I never saw it coming. We're gonna own this thing. Like stuff like that. Is that you know? it? Yep. Okay. That was good. Um there's so many things I, I I really like about you. I married you. Of course there are there are like a million things. You, your drive, your determination, your ability to lead, your ability to make things so simple all the time, because I That's make things very, very complex in my it brain. Has to be simple. All right. And you are literally the only person on the face of this earth that would have went through the last 10 years beside me. Hands down, without a doubt, the only human being. That's sweet. We are celebrating five years of being married in November. Well, coming right up next month. Come right up there. Hopefully, we don't forget it. We forgot like three out of our. Five. We forgot your three and your four, I think. <laughs> well, I like it was your two. Your two and your three. Yeah. Well, I wish we would have forgotten about your one. We were grinding. Your one was hard. Your one was tough. So, anyway, that's it. That's Hello. all the questions. Well, all the good questions we had. If you liked this segment, though, and you enjoyed getting to know Adam and I, or if you want to take some of these questions and play this with or your Or if you spouse, want a recipe for why this meal's so dang good. Leave a comment below. I'm probably not going to tell you how. This is top secret. It's okay. At any rate, though, we are... Um, I have aged bacon fat in my refrigerator that I cook these steaks with, and I am not kidding you. <laughs> do you have anything else you want to say? And this cheese is just terrific. On oh, do you want to... Here, I got one for you. You got one for me? Yeah. Oh, we don't have any very many friends. We, we're trying to get more. Um... Would you like and subscribe this video? And if it wasn't total garbage, share it with the share on your page, your Instagram. So currently you're on our blog, which is us for real, right? But we ask that you go out to YouTube or you can even subscribe to our blog on our blog. But if you like this video on YouTube and can subscribe to our channel, we would we would love you to the moon and back. And if you thought this was funny or this brought some joy to your life and you want to share this out, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, the blogosphere or whatever, please do that too. Or just make mixtape copies of it and hand it out at high school and That'd college. Cool too, here yeah. you what are you guys gonna be for Halloween? I know I'm gonna be.